Hey guys, what's cracking? Ian, the master of pieces here, and in today's video, I want to take you through my third batch of cards that I want to send to PSA to get graded. So, let's head inside and I'll take you through them all. So over the past, I'd say, six months, I've been investing heavily in all types of cards. Pokemon cards, sports cards, Marvel cards, and I've been sourcing most of them off of eBay. And the uh, my main strategy has been just to buy them raw for as cheap as possible. But when I see one that is in particularly good condition or well-centered, I'm, I'm willing to pay up a little bit more in the hope that I can send them off through Graded Gem to PSA to get graded. And the reason I do that is because if you can hit a grade 9 or a grade 10, your card becomes instantly way more valuable. Now, I've sent off two submissions through Graded Gem already, totaling about 40 cards. In today's video, I want to show you through these next 17 cards that I'm going to submit, give you a bit of history on them and why I want to submit these in particular. So I'm going to flip around the camera and I'll take you through them all. Now my first two submissions to PSA have purely been sports cards, but to start this submission off I want to send in some of these Marvel cards, and it's because these are shooting up in value all the time. Now this one is of Electra, it's from 1990, made by Impel, and the population of these on PSA is so low, hardly any of these have been graded. Um, now when you do grade a card you're looking for um, sharp edges, good corners, no scratches, so a good surface and well centered. And this ticks all of the boxes for that. I really, really like this card. Um, now, one of these has sold recently a PSA 9 for just under £100. And I picked this one up for £1.50. So it's a really low risk card to get graded. It costs about £10 if you grade them standard. So I'll be £11 in. Even if it comes back an average grade, I'm not losing any money on that one. Next up, and in the same vein, we've got a 1991 card this time, Daredevil versus Elektra. Two really popular characters, a nice action shot there. Really, really love that pose. Nicely centered, a bit of blurb on the back as well. There's the Impel logo there. Um, none of these have been sold recently that are graded, so I've got no guide of price to go to, but I think that this one could do really, really well. I'm hoping that this one will get a good grade too. Third up, and from the same series as that previous card, a 1991 Impel um, card, this is the Green Goblin. And anything Spider-Man typically does really, really well. He's a really popular character. This is a really popular bad guy. Um, look at that face there. He doesn't look too happy. But again, just a really nicely centered card. And one thing you've got to look out for these old Marvel cards is the... <laughs> They, they, they are good quality. I was about to say that they're, they're not, but they are just pretty plain cardboard. They're quite easy to get dinged and just scuffed up. So to find any of these that are good condition is quite hard. So I've been quite lucky to find those. Now, next up, these are a bit later, these cards. These are from 1995, and these are FLIR cards from the 1995 FLIR Marvel Annual. I really, really love these ones. These are called Chromium cards. And yeah, this is a limited edition one of 12. Now, this isn't just one. This isn't the only card in the world. This is a set of 12, and I absolutely love it. It's got a really lovely gloss finish. Now, with this, there is a tiny little scratch up there, so I'm not expecting a 10. But I think, like I said earlier, Spider-Man is super, super hot. And yeah, this card could do really well. I really love it. And from the same set, we have got... The Iron Man version, really, really strong pose in that. The centering isn't particularly great. You can see there's a kind of flat bit that goes around. It's definitely heavier this side than that side. Um, but this one doesn't have any scratches on it at all. Really, really nice card. Number three of the 12 sets, um, Chromium card again. That'll look really, really cool just in, in one of those PSA slabs. 
Next up, we have got a Spider-Man card, and this is from my favorite Marvel card set. I've got the complete set of these. It's from the Marvel Metal Blaster Collection. These are from 1995, and just how cool is that for a card? What I love about this is all of this is embossed. It's all different colors, all different patterns. It really pops out. And yeah, this one is in pretty decent condition. It's the Metal Blaster. Um, I've got a couple of these cards and that's the only reason why I'm sending this in. I'd like to have a complete binder set. And if I was breaking up that set in the binder, I think I'd probably rather keep it in the binder. But this has got a really good chance of getting a good grade. There's a few light scratches down there, but apart from that, everything else is in pretty solid nick. All the corners and edges are good. We'll see which one, oh, we'll see how that one comes back. And along the same line, we also have this Marvel Metal Spider-Man. Same image as the one I've just shown you there, but this one obviously has a gold background, and it is because it is a gold blaster. These are limited edition cards, and a PSA 10 of this is sold recently for about £1,000. Now, this one won't be a PSA 10. There is a slight little bit of whitening on the corner down there, you can see, but that is the only imperfection I can see but obviously I'm not a grader and those guys know what they're doing. So I may have missed some bits and pieces, but I think that is a beautiful looking card. And yeah, I, again, it would just look amazing in one of those PSA slabs. So those are the Marvel cards. I've got seven in total. Next up, I want to show you some uh, sports cards and in particular football cards. First up, I've got a 1995 to 1996 David Beckham Subutio squads card. I sold one of these recently in my last video for £50. But this one I've decided to decided to get graded and it's more for sentimental value this was the card or this set of cards the squads cards is what got me into collecting football cards when i was younger back in the day so to have my favorite card in a psa slab regardless of what grade it'll get um will just be really really special now it is a bit heavier this side to that side the white is a bit thicker and the back is so off center look at that you can definitely yeah you don't have to be a pro to see that that is pretty off center but the condition is pretty good um, so we'll see how that one gets on. A PSA 10 for that went for about just over a thousand pounds, which, yeah, I think the market or the industry thinks that that is low. Um, yeah, like I said, these sell raw for about 50 quid. If you want to buy a decent one on eBay, you're looking 50 pounds plus. Next up, and this is my biggest investment into a sports card ever. This is David Beckham, Premier Gold 1996. Now this is known as his rookie within... Um, the hobby but obviously everything is subjective this card was released earlier so this one should be his true rookie but everyone wants this card because it's an established brand this is a merlin card it looks really really sweet doesn't it absolutely love it nice bit of bio on the back a few stats a few bits of career um yeah how he's got on his uh, career to date now i bought this one for 250 pounds off of ebay and it's not going to get a 10. There is a, the slightest of slight bits of whitening on that corner there. There is a little mark on the card there. But apart from that, that is it. So I am hoping it will get a fairly decent grade. Now, a PSA 10 has sold recently for £91,000. But it is, a bit of, it is a bit controversial. I'm not sure if that actually went through because there is a PSA 10 on eBay which is up for less. So why wouldn't you just buy the one up for less? There's one up for auction right now. It's still got five hours to go. It's a PSA 8, and that is on £750. So I'm interested to see how that one gets on, but I think this one has a lot of mileage in the future. A great card to have. I, I know I paid a little bit for it. A little bit of whitening down there as well, see? I know I paid a little bit for it, um, but th these cards will soon go out of out of my budget and price range, so I had to get one whenever I could. Next up, I want to show you these all together. Really, we have got four cards from the Futera 1997 Fan Selection Man United um, set, and. These, I think, are the most undervalued cards out there. You can pick these up for anywhere between five to 20 pounds each um, on, on eBay. The population report says there are hardly any of these graded. And these, these were released the year after that um, rookie card. So they are great low value investments, which could do really well 
over time. I think this one has probably got the most legs in it. It's got a really, really cool 90s retro, almost wallpaper in the background. The centering on this one isn't too bad, a little bit heavy, I'd say top to bottom. Um, and on the back, again, you've got a bit of a blurb, a little bit of bio, there's the date there that says 1997. But the reason why I like these three cards in particular, and I have sent some of these off in my previous orders, was first up, these are really, really hard to get decent um, to get decent condition ones. So these, I, I've bought four boxes of these and pulled them out and most of them are off center. The corners aren't particularly good. They get print lines on them, but these ones don't look too bad. And I'm excited about these because it does capture the goal that this card is all about. You've almost got Beckham taking the shot from the halfway line against um, Wimbledon there. When it went in, that is his celebration. That is the same celebration from another part of the stadium. And this is obviously all the players coming in, jumping on his back. So if you're a Beckham collector and you have got all of those cards there, what a lovely collection that is to have. So yeah, I'm hoping these come back all decent grades. And yeah, that'll be really quite special. Next up, I've got another Beckham sticker to show you this time. And this is the only sticker that I am submitting this time. It is from the Merlin collection, the official England collection, David Beckham number 87. Um, and this for me has got everything a sticker should have. It's a decent size if you compare it to the card size. It's not far off an actual card. Most of the portraits would be two thirds of that. It's got plenty of shiny on it and I think any good sticker needs to have a good shiny part to it. Nice action shot with the England badge in there, Beckham number seven, the England logo in the background. The only thing missing is that it doesn't say David Beckham on the front. Now, I don't think this will get a very good grade um, because of the centering and the corners aren't brilliant. That one's rolled up a little bit that side. Yeah, I managed to actually put this in between two books and left it for about a week and it pressed out some of the ones at the bottom there. But there are none of these graded at all in the world. So this one would be the first, unless people have submitted them in actually um, before me, this will be the only graded one in the world. And I think that is really, really cool. Next up, I've got two of the same card and these are both Ronaldinho cards. And these are Futera Platinum cards from 2003. And the reason I'm submitting these is these are a really early Ronaldinho card in his Brazil strip. Now I think there's a 2002 sticker out there um, and that sells for, well that's up in his hundreds already. This one is from 2003, stamped there. Um, I paid seven pound each for these, which I think is an absolute bargain because the one the year after goes for 20 pounds plus. And yeah, I, I, I think these ones could do well. You know, it's got like a, a bit like that Beckham card before, you know, nice action shot there. Really, really love that gold lettering. Striker up, up the side. Yeah, let's see how those ones do. Again, none of these sold or sold recently from PSA. There are a few of these that have been graded, but not too many at all. The population is so low. And the final one I want to show you is this one here. And I have I have sent one of these in previously. This is a Cristiano Ronaldo top trump. It's from 2004. And the reason I want to send this in is because this is really early in his um, Portugal career. You can see he's only got two caps there, no goals yet. That's weird. Two years international experience and yet he's only got two caps. So that I'm guessing represents youth level. But for this one, I just love the description. You can see it captures him being one of the most expensive teenagers at the time, taking over the Beckham number seven shirt. And these are really, really hard to find in good condition because top trumps aren't designed to be, you know, collected as, I guess, you know, trading cards. These are meant to be played with. So all of these corners are usually battered. There's usually tons of um, whitening. They're never center. But that one to me, the centering doesn't look too bad. Again, I've put this in between a couple of books just to get those corners nice and flat or as flat as um, possible. Now, these ones you can pick up for anywhere between, what, five and 20 pounds, or you can pick up the actual top trumps set and just pull it out there. But again, you don't know what condition it's it's um, it's gonna be. So yeah, if they're selling for that raw, hopefully these should be worth a fair bit if you get a decent grade. 
So there we go, guys. 17 cards to get graded in total. And I'll be honest, these are pretty low risk. Most of them I've paid under £5, some of them 7 8 quid. apart from that Beckham rookie card, which I've spent up a bit. But really, it costs £10 per card to get graded through standard service. So all in all, even if they don't come back the top, top grades, I'm not going to be losing any money. And the fact is, I want to get all these graded now because I think there will be a big rush this year with all the new Pokemon products coming out. Everyone's going to be sending stuff into PSA to get graded. I want to get these in first. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'm sure in... 12 months, 18 months time, whenever they come back, I'll do a reveal video and hopefully I'll be showing you loads of nines and tens. See you soon guys, bye bye. Thanks ever so much for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. For those new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.